Hi everyone, I'm Ioan and welcome back to the channel. A couple of nights ago I captured the Perseids Meteor Shower and the Milky Way at uh, Turda Gorge. Very beautiful landscape, was a clear night, a few clouds, but most of the night was clear. And now I will stack some of the images with the Milky Way using Sequator. I open Sequator and I've selected the images that I don't want to stack. Double click on Start Images and select it 15 images with the Milky Way. Then we press Open. After we have the images here, you can select also one image that you want to have as base image or reference frame. We can select also another one if you want to change. We can double click and select one that has a little bit of light on the foreground, like this one or this one. And yeah, we do have more light here. We selected base image. We'll go here on composition and we can select here freeze ground. Okay. Then a sky region, we can select irregular mask and select the sky. Using the mouse scroll, we'll make the brush bigger, larger, and let's paint the sky out from the image. Okay, like this. Then we'll go smaller and with right click, we'll uh, correct. We we'll leave a little bit of room here on the edge. Okay, and also here, using right click. So when it will also stack the landscape, it will not be blurry here. We leave a little, a little bit of line. After we use mask for the sky, remove dynamic noise, reduce distortions uh, on auto, reduce light pollution on, uneven, enhance starlight. No, this will make our image smaller, but more lighter, and we leave it off for the moment. Time lapse off, color space we leave default. We'll try also high dynamic range, and now we are ready to press start. Okay, we need also to select output file, uncompressed if, and now we'll press start. And we wait a few seconds until it will uh, align the images and stack them. The landscape looks okay, sharp, but a little bit noisy. We'll try also the version without light pollution. It took only one minute to combine these images. So let's take a look here in Photoshop. Uh, let's check the image. So we do have this image with the Milky Way. And we will process it. We can process it in Adobe Photoshop and get a good result. We'll open Sequator again. And here we'll deselect now. Uh, Reduce light pollution and select output, new name. This will be to save. We start. The image actually looks much cleaner. Now we'll use reduce light pollution, but with strength at close to minimum. And we'll check now how the Milky Way will look if we do not reduce the light pollution so much. It does increase the contrast here on the on the foreground. However, it makes a lot of noise. I suggest maybe using the other option for the foreground or combine them with the mask feature in Adobe Photoshop. Here we have one of the best results with high pollution at medium or low medium. And here we have it also with light pollution on low. If you want to see also the processing tutorial, of the Milky Way, I will make it available and you'll be able to check it out. I hope you enjoyed watching the video. This is how you can use Sequator to stack images with the Milky Way and obtain a much better result. Don't forget to check also the channel membership. I will uh, place also the other data. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe. And until next time, stay safe and clear sky.